When designing subdivisions inside of Civil 3D, it's often necessary to designate more information than just the lot number and description that I get out of the box. A common example of this might be the need to designate a unit or house type that can be placed on each of the lots in my subdivision. For CAD Microsystems, my name is Donnie Gladfelter, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we can designate this additional information to track the different house types that can be placed on each of the lots in my subdivision. To begin this process, I'm going to first jump over to the Settings tab inside of Toolspace and find Parcel from the list. When I expand out Parcel, the first option I will find is something known as User Defined property classifications. And when I click on that, you'll notice that my drawing already has one property classification known as unclassified. And I could certainly create my new properties inside of that. Or if I can, if I choose, I can right click on the user defined property classifications option. And from the right click menu that appears, choose new. This will allow me to designate a new classification by specifying a name. In my case, I'm going to type in CAD and choose OK. Now when I do that, you'll see now in the list I have a new property classification known as CAD. Now currently this is just an empty container and it doesn't have any additional data above and beyond what I already have inside of my Civil 3D drawing. Now what I would like to do is create a custom field or a custom property for the unit type of each parcel. And to accomplish that, I'll simply right click on my classification here in the list, CAD in this case, and from the right click menu that appears, choose new. Now this is where I can define a custom property for the parcels in my drawing. As you might expect, the first thing I need to do is give this a name. I'll go ahead and call this unit type. I can optionally give this a description. And perhaps the most important thing I need to do from this dialog is choose the field type. Now in this case, it's defaulted to the value of string, which is exactly what I want. This will allow me to input values such as A and B and C and have things like commas and other punctuation inside of it if necessary. Whereas the other field types here can serve other purposes, such as designating bearings, distances, elevations, and the like. I'll keep this set to string, and I will also keep the default value checked here with a blank value. With that, I'll choose OK, and from here I have now created a new property known as unit type. Now, while this new property does now exist inside of my Civil 3D drawing, it has not yet been applied to any of the parcels in my drawing. To do that, I need to jump back over to Prospector and find the site where my subdivision lots are contained. In this case, my site is known as subdivision lots. I'll go ahead and expand this site definition out to find parcels from the list. And from here, what I need to do is right click on parcels and choose properties. Now you may have come to this dialog before to designate parcel style order. So right of way override, say the front lot line of a property. But some of the other things that I can do here is choose user defined property classifications. So in my case, when I hit the down arrow here, you'll see that I can choose the unclassified property classification that was a default in this drawing, or I can choose CAD, or finally I can choose all. I would choose either all or CAD. In this case, I'll go ahead and choose CAD for our purposes here today. Now what that's doing is assigning that classification to the parcels in this site. And from here, what I can do is go ahead and choose OK. Now with that, I can now right click on any one of the properties or parcels inside of this drawing. And if I go into the properties here, we now have a tab under user defined properties with my classification of CAD. And here I can designate unit type as a property value. So in my case, let's assume that this is going to be a unit type A, and I'll go ahead and choose OK. And that's going to add that property to property 101 in this case. Additionally, if I scroll over here, you'll see that the column for unit is right here. And if you'd like, I can always drag this over to something a little bit closer, a little easier to work with here in the prospector view here.
So maybe I'll put it right here. And from here, I can simply go down the list and apply classifications to each of these lots. Now, while this is great, the issue still remains that while I can add these designations, the designations themselves are not showing up in my label style. Now, as you might expect, in order to display this information, I do need to go in to the style of each of these, sorry, the area label style for each of these, and edit it to include the new user-defined property that I created. So if I come in here, I'll just go ahead and edit this particular style. And I will type in unit and colon. And then from here in the list, I now have unit type as one of the properties I can add to my civil 3D style label. I'll go ahead and add that to the piece there. Actually, let's change this to uppercase just in case I get the case or the capitalization wrong. I'll choose OK and OK. And we'll choose OK yet again. And when I do that, let me do a quick regen. You'll now see that each of my lot labels have a unit classification and whatever I've designated for those parcel properties here in Prospector will appear in my drawing. So there you have it for CAD Microsystems. My name's Donnie Gladfelter, and on behalf of the entire team here at CAD Microsystems, thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in an upcoming video. Take care.